have a Louis Vuitton unboxing today. It's a handbag. It's one I didn't even know existed, but as soon as I saw it, and as soon as I saw the incredible price on it, well, that's not entirely true. I was about to say I bought it, but there was some consideration first, and a little bit of research, and a little help and enabling from Winnie BLV. Stay tuned to hear all about it and to see what I got. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel's all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get into the Louis Vuitton. Now, I told you I got this for an incredible price, so you know it wasn't brand new. I got it pre-loved from the Real Real. Came in the box and the dust bag, and it's an itty bitty little Louis Vuitton bag, but it's supposed to be quite spacious for what it is. And like I said, I had never seen this bag before. Apparently Louis Vuitton has made many versions of this bag and I hadn't seen this particular one. It has a Louis Vuitton dust bag inside. It's one of the older ones. This bag is from 2006. It's a little folded in the dust bag here, so I'm gonna take it out and make it prettier before I hold it up and show you. It's ready, are you? Here we go, it is... <gasps> Adorable. It is a Louis Vuitton Noé, and I will tell you more about it in just a second, and I'll show you more details. But let me tell you the little backstory and why I thought this bag was fake for a minute there. First of all, this is one of those things that if you're not a first look member at the Real Real, you would miss out on this because I bought it not very long at all after it was listed. And if you're a first look member, you get 24 hour early access before people who aren't members. Those riffraff, you know. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's really precious. I have to put it down, stop looking at it. So I'm certain because of what a great bag this is and because of the fantastic price. It was only 700 something, almost $800. And most of these go for about twice that or more. If I hadn't been a member, I don't think I ever would have seen it. I think someone else would have snatched it right up like I did. So I would have missed out completely. I always tell you guys, if you are into the pre-loved bags and you're serious, about it, join the first look. And I don't get anything for that. Like they're not sponsoring this or anything. I'm just telling you because I've used it so many times. It's $12 a month and it's super easy to cancel. It's not like trying to cancel your gem membership, which is impossible, right? Like I know about that. It's actually very simple to cancel. You just go in and press the buttons and you cancel it. Anyway, here's what happened. They had this bag listed as a Noe BB. This is not a Noe BB I found out. I looked at it and you'll notice, I'll bring it closer. You'll notice that this top handle is attached and it's not detachable. This is the cutest bag I own. I was just looking at it in the mirror. I seriously, I'll put it there. You can still see it, but it's out of my line of vision. So maybe I can concentrate on what I'm saying which was what? Okay, so they had it listed as a Noe BB. So when I saw the price and the condition, it's in great condition, I started looking for other Noe BBs and I started looking for videos and the Noe BB didn't look like this bag. So I started thinking, well, maybe they mislabeled it as the Noe Nano. So I looked up the Nano and nope, it wasn't that either. By the way, the Nano was nearly $2,000. OMG. Oh, the luxury prices these days. This is why I shop pre-loved. So I was very confused because the BB and the Nano are the the only two sizes of little bags at Louis Vuitton that I know about. So I started asking around. I sent pictures of this bag to Winnie BLV. I will have her channel linked below. And she wasn't sure about it either. She thought the same thing. Maybe it was a nano, blah, blah, blah. We just couldn't figure it out. And I kept looking at Google image searches and I just could not figure this out. Somehow, I don't remember what it was I searched, but I came across this bag finally in some photos or a video or something. It turns out this is the No Way Mini. It was made for a few years, 2003-ish to about 2006, and there were only about three videos on it on YouTube, and it is fabulous. 
and I started looking around now that I knew what it was checking all the different sites that sell pre-loved handbags and I did find a few that were around the thousand dollar mark and some that were upward of 1400 And of course, on the Noe with all that Vachetta, the condition varies quite a bit. And the videos I saw on YouTube, which had all been out for a few years already, the Vachetta on their bags wasn't that great. The Vachetta on this is great. It's, it's not perfect. Let's show you details. I'll give you a more close-up spin to start with. I think you can see some of the corner scuffing here on that side. And also the light is so bright, but there's some scuffing here, which I didn't see in the photographs. They're scuffing on each of the corners. It's really a pretty light vachetta though. It has a little bit of a honey patina. And then the bottom they had, I don't remember if they had a picture of it. I think, yeah, they did. And it has just a little bit of scuffing on the corners. I think you can see that, but I mean, look how clean it is otherwise. And I wonder if I can get a wet wipe and wipe that off because it's really just dirt. It doesn't look like the corners are, um, get that a little closer. It doesn't look like the corners are damaged at all. It doesn't look like they're scraped. They're just a little dirty. And then it has the top handle, which is the nice thick Noe handle. If you don't know the history of the Noe bags, the full-size GM ones, which I'll need to grab mine out and compare it to this. They were originally designed to be bags that hold champagne bottles. They would hold one in each corner and then one upside down. Hence the really thick strap so it could support all that weight. And the drawstring top to help hold the bottles in place securely and not have them rattling around on your cruise ship. On the top of the strap, I think you can see it right there. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. On the Noé GMs, it will have markings here that say made in France or wherever it was made and it'll have the Louis Vuitton Paris there in addition to on the strap. On each of the grommets it says Louis Vuitton and it has the regular drawstring. If you ever have a Noe bag the drawstring breaks on you. You can purchase replacement drawstrings probably from Louis Vuitton but you can get them cheaper and easier from other places like dress up your purse. I will have them linked below. Let's look at the interior of this bag. It is the brown canvas that you see inside bags like the Speedy. A little different difficult to see with all the shadowing, but it looks super clean. Really wonderful in there. Here's what's coming up next. I'm going to give you dimensions of this bag. I'm going to compare it to my Noe GM so you can get a sense of the size difference in case you're familiar with that size. I will also do a little bit of a what fits because as small as this bag is, it's gonna hold a lot. And I have been looking for a smallish Louis Vuitton bag Hold on, I have this one. This is my mini Speedy HL. Here's a size comparison. The Noe is quite a bit larger than it is. And the mini HL just doesn't hold much at all. It does hold my cell phone. I have an iPhone 10, but it barely holds that. And it holds a card case and a couple more things, but just not much at all. And it's a little bit of a struggle to get things in and out of that zipper. So this being larger will of course hold more and having that giant wide opening, it'll be much easier to get things in and out. So I'll do all those things. I'm also gonna grab a third party strap from Dress Up Your Purse and throw that on here so I can have it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag and I'll do a few mod shots for you. Lots to look forward to. Oh, and of course the other mini Noe's that I find online, I will have linked below for you because you're gonna fall in love with this bag like I did and I'm here to make your life easier in addition to providing whatever education and somewhat entertaining content that I can. As promised, dimensions. This is seven inches across the base, five inches deep, eight inches tall, or was it eight and a half? Let me check. Eight and a quarter. Here it is compared to the Noe GM. Quite a difference. There are the sides of them. The GM is 10 inches by 7.75 inches by 13 and a half inches tall. You could use this inside your GM. Or if you're like Winnie BLV, you could use it as a bag charm. In comparison, the Mini Speedy HL is six inches by almost three inches by about two and a half, almost three inches tall. Let's do mod shots and then I'll do a little what fits. Also, I'm gonna tie it up because I think it's cutest when it's cinched. So here we go. This is not a shoulder bag for most people, but you could definitely wear it on the crook of your arm and be just the cutest thing going out. Or of course, you could top handle it. It's the best. 
I really love this. Like, I'm so happy with it. I pulled two straps from Dress Up Your Purse. One is this very thin, long crossbody strap. Let me tell you one of the great things about Dress Up Your Purse, if you're not familiar with them, of course, I'll have them linked below and my discount code with them is below as well. Their Vachetta straps are made to match Louis Vuitton bags and they come in several different patinas. You can get the white Vachetta, which isn't actually white, but you know, it's the very, very light Vachetta. You can get it with a honey patina or you can get it quite a bit darker for the really vintage bags. You can also get the glazing in different colors. This one's in a red, but you can get a clear glazing. That's the one I tend to go for. Now on some of the other YouTube videos I watched, when people added straps, they would fold this handle back. And I think theirs may have been a little more vintage and the leather a little softer because theirs seemed to lay back better than mine does. Mine is popping up. I think I would still lean it back as much as I can. And I'll add this crossbody strap and slip it over just like that. And the strap is, you know, it's hitting me a little bit here, but it's not that annoying very hands-free and wonderful it's a comfortable thing but I think I may like this other strap better this is probably my favorite strap that I've ever gotten from dress up your purse and it's because it's versatile you can have it at this short length but you can also unsnap the ends and pull it apart and re-snap it in the middle and it becomes a longer strap and I think this will be the perfect length and the perfect width of the leather for this particular bag. Yeah I like the proportion of that strap better. So I can wear it on my shoulder like that and it can hang down. Can I do this crossbody? Uh, probably not. It's a little high for me there. Let's try it on the shorter length as well. This could work on my shoulder well I think. Yeah that's nice. That feels comfortable. The other strap is up under my armpit but I don't feel it. It's not bothering me at all. That's cute. I like it. Yes, this is my new favorite bag. Now for the wet fits, I've pulled a few items that you guys may be familiar with. I'm not gonna do like what fits if I stuff the bag. I'm gonna do more like does this item fit or does this item fit? Is this too big or whatever? So you get an idea more of the size of the bag because obviously capacity is pretty good. So let's start with a couple of weird things that I wouldn't actually put in my bag but just so you get a sense of the size. And also let me cut the tag off because I'm keeping this. All right, tag is off. Here's a can of water. That's how big it is compared to the bag. That will definitely fit. I'm not going to put it in there because it's open. Winnie BLV, this one's for you. A Topo Chico. The Topo Chico fits, but it sticks out a little. That's okay. You could still carry it, cinch it in, and it may not even spill. Here's the bag I'm carrying today, the Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size. And here's that compared to the Noe Mini and the side view. These are fantastic bags. They are harder and harder to come by, however. I have a Zippy Coin. Of course, that will fit. I have an Agenda PM. Will that fit? It absolutely will. Here it is compared to the base of the bag. So if you're familiar with the Agenda PM, that would give you a sense of how big the base is, just a little bigger than the Agenda. And a few more Louis Vuitton SLGs, small leather goods. For those of you who may be familiar, here is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. Too long to put in that way. I could put it in this way, but it looks like it's going to stick up. And indeed it does. The Toiletry 15 fits easily. I could put it down in the bag like this, but it would fit in easier if it was standing up on its side. The Toiletry 19 would not fit like this. Will it fit like this? It does. And it doesn't stick out the top, but it's really close to the top. And the width fits well. It's not too wide for the bag. And since we know the toiletry 15 will fit, we know the mini pochette will fit. How about a full-size wallet? This is the Sarah wallet the old model. It's too wide to fit across this way, but if we stand it up, it doesn't stick out, but it is pretty close to the top. A pencil case. This one's from Coach, but it's the same size as the Louis Vuitton pencil cases. That fits, and it's just the same height as the bag. Now, how about a few bigger items that we're just not sure whether they'll fit or not? Some Bose headphones in their case. Yep, those fit, and they're as tall as the bag. How about an iPad mini? That fits, and in the case, it's just a little bit taller than the bag. The width just fits in the bag. How about a Louis Vuitton desk agenda that's pretty stuffed? It does fit. I'm a little surprised by that. And the width is just right. It's not stretching the bag out, but it is a little too tall. That's all right. I love to go to restaurants with my planner. This would be perfect. Fit that in there, my pencil case, my wallet. That all fits and that's all I need. But that desk agenda is pretty bulky. So what about just a little A5 notebook? We already know that'll fit. It goes right to the top. And that's what fits. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.